I'd like to talk about the project that I recently took part in. Um, it was an uh, Eminem and 50 Cent's clip, uh, It Is Love. Uh, the clip is uh, static action, so it's like a frozen clip with a moving camera. So um, my task was to create the rocket trail and uh, and the heart in the end for the trail as well. Um, so I'd like to share the approach the approach uh, that I had uh, um, Let me start with the trail first. Um, it wasn't a very hard task, but um, the main uh, um, point that I'd like to share it was like how I approached it. Um, so um, I had this trail. Actually, it has like uh, the precise lengths of the trail. So I use the first sphere and the last one. Uh, to work over the trail. So um, I imported those two spheres, then um, fuse them as a points and merge them and connect it with the line to sample it. Sort. Created a noise and the colored curve, I used this colored curve as a transition between uh, noise and uh, the plane curve by adding um, an important color and uh, plane, uh, plane curve and mixing it with color. Um, then I added a p-scale attribute just to control the thickness of my um, main shape. I remeshed it and a little more details and then converted to an apire source with the volume scanner and initial um, the preset of smoke density and temperature. Sorted back again, and um, this is the main part actually. I, um, I I modified my attributes that I created uh, to density and temperature um, with the color, and then I assign my existing temperature multiplied by the color. And the same I did to my temperature uh, density as well. I did the coloring thing and then also multiply to the existing density. Then I rasterized all the attributes and adding a Fire back volume um, to see the final result. What I'm getting. So this way you don't have to simulate and control the lengths, like how far um, you should wait to get the exact lengths and what thickness should it be. Like if director doesn't like the shape, you can easily change it on the fly and if I for example this is the density I'm controlling if I just see how can I easily
cut my density whatever I want and the same with the temperature yeah I like release my uh, density So this way uh, I can also control the temperature. Maybe if the uh, director wants to like uh, make it longer or shorter, it's very convenient. Yeah, and this way I uh, really uh, uh, made a flexible setup and it really helped me a lot. Uh, with the fire, uh, I actually did a simple thing for the full 450 frames and there was nothing special. Time shifted and fire back volume. So this is how it looks in the final. Also, the um, uh, good uh, side of things like uh, separating files uh, allows you to just use it uh, in um, in different areas, not 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 exactly, uh, just the, the the main trail, but uh, as a uh, additional fire. Okay, uh, and the hard. Um, the heart itself wasn't difficult. Um, the only thing it was like a director choice, constantly changing. First of, uh, f first look was like a full uh, heart with the smoke, and then they decided to go like um, with different shapes and like to make it just like outline, outline smoke. And I simply traced the approved uh, heart shape, just uh, adding a P scale, using a P scale for the polywire, just tweaking it and copying it to. Um, converting it to a uh, cloud wasn't absolutely difficult. It just I, I used um, built-in cloud asset. Um, some bigger shapes and smaller shapes and it was fine uh, the tricky was the the trail of um, of this heart uh, it also was constantly changing so and it was quite long uh, and converting it to uh, volume was uh, Bit challenging for me because I have um, quite low spec uh, computer and also 
it was like uh, also constantly changing the the look of uh, the curve. So I also um, this is the final look. It's much shorter than it was before. Yeah, I also added noise, the plain one with the color. And then mostly a manual edit, smoothing and editing uh, the curve. So after I got the approved shape, I also like added P scale, converted, added a poly wire with a P scale, smooth mountain, and converting to cloth as well. Uh, the trail pass was actually quite long so uh, converting it to um, a cloud shape um, gave me some kind of an issue so it, it, uh, it become like a boxy type of volume um, and also because of my um, slow PC I couldn't uh, the computer couldn't ha handle all that uh, trail at once so I had to uh, split it actually um, to four or five pieces um, that that how I could uh, just export all those pieces separately and also solve that uh, boxy type problem so in the end uh, it was okay Well, yeah, uh, this type of um, experience I had uh, during this project, so uh, it was very nice actually to uh, think of uh, the visual effects in uh, in a static way and how you can uh, solve this type of problems. And uh, yeah, so I hope you uh, liked the info and it was useful and. Thank you.